Looking at a busy fire season ahead, so to make sure L.A. County of large super scooper and helitanker water dropping planes. KTLA's Jamie Chambers with a look at the firefighting equipment. The citizens of Los Angeles that live near the burn areas are breathing a little easier tonight now that the super scoopers are back in town. They've been credited with saving countless homes and stopping would-be monstrous fires before they get completely out of control. The super scoopers are here and so is L.A. County's Air Force. The versatility of these aircraft make this a much safer place during the Santa Ana conditions that we always experience during the autumn, during wildfires like we experienced yesterday. Officials say if the federal government had approved the use of the super scoopers, L.A.'s largest fire ever, known as the Station Fire, would have been nothing more than a footnote in history instead of the historic tragedy it became. The federal government still has not finalized their reforms that they're going to implement as a result of that station fire that killed the two firemen and 160,000 acres destroyed. But we have, uh, next time there's a fire that does impact us, we are directly going to use our aerial support. With the 2,500 gallon precision drops of the Sky Crane coupled with the 1,600 gallon water drops of the Super Scoopers, Chief Osby says he's comfortable with his firefighting toolbox. The fire weather's getting more extreme, and so we bring them in, and it's to help augment the team. And if we can't contain the fire, if it's a wind driven fire, at least we know we did all that we could to keep the fire small. Then we start using them for perimeter control to help put the fire out. The Super Scoopers will be in Los Angeles for the next 90 days, and we're already feeling a little light Santa Ana winds blowing. But don't worry, they can be up in the air in as little as five minutes. From Van Nuys, I'm Jamie Chambers, KTLA 5 News.